are young, it's hard to see beyond the point of making fun. Or at least that's how I stay my youth. Always looking for ways to avoid reading or writing. And as time passed by, we became older. The obstacle of language became so big that it was almost unbearable. Don't worry, no matter how big an obstacle, there's always a way around. As regards for language, just like solving any other obstacle, it always starts by starting. In the book Writing Tools, Roy Peter Clark shares over 50 writing tools. Now, it might surprise you a bit, but during lower school, my spelling and grammar were terrible. And even up to a few years ago, I couldn't understand the difference between life and live. Now, when I started to read this book, I started to feel, to experience the art writing really is. Just like something I noticed over the years. You will only start appreciating and rewarding things once you try them by yourself. The two most important tools out of the book for me were first, take it easy with inks and second, set the pace with the sentence length. The first tool teaches us the impact of using inks behind the verb. As a writer, it is our privilege and responsibility to use this in the right way. The use of inks can create a sense that things are happening right now. Also, inks make verbs weaker. So, as a writer, you want to think about the use and don't use it too much. The second tool teaches us something I never noticed before. It is that the longer a sentence, the slower you read. So as a writer, you can control the speed people are reading through different kinds of lengths. A writer can create a the rhythm or music of his own story. Next time, when you're going to write, use this new tool so you can create your own music. As Roy said in his book, don't just write, write music. That's it for As Roy said in his book, don't just write words, write music. That's it for today. Feel free to share any thoughts you have left. Thanks for watching.